from this position over here, you could either keep your hands down by your side, you could cross them at your shoulder, you could place them overhead. The lower your hands, the lower your center of gravity, the easier it's going to be. The higher your hands, the higher your center of gravity, the more difficult it's going to be. But this is essentially the exercise. All you're going to do is... Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric. Today I'm going to be demonstrating some bodyweight quadricep exercises. Specifically, we are going to be focusing on the vastus medialis, the vastus intermedius, and the vastus lateralis. The reason that we're going to be focusing on these three specific quadricep muscles is because these are the only three pure knee extensors of the quadricep group. Of the quadricep muscles, we also have the rectus femoris. However, the rectus femoris, it also attaches to the pelvis. It attaches to the anterior inferior iliac spine. So aside from being a knee extensor, it is also a hip flexor and it has an action at the pelvis. Well, with regard to the actual quadricep group, the vastus medialis, I'm going to have Cassandra just get up onto her knees. We're going to get into that anatomy a little bit. The vastus medialis is going to attach to the medial lip of the linea spera on the femur. The vastus intermedius is going to attach to the anterior shaft of the femur and also the lateral lip of the linea spera. And then the vastus lateralis is going to attach to the lateral lip of the linea spera. And all of them are going to attach into the tibial tuberosity via the patella and the patellar ligament. And now that we know the anatomy of of these different muscles, we're gonna to start to get into the exercises. In terms of the exercises, the main difference is going to be the foot position of each of the different exercises because the actual movement itself is going to be exactly the same. With regard to these, the more myofascial tension that we can create on the muscle that we are strengthening, the greater muscle recruitment we are going to get from that muscle. So if we wanted to focus more on the vastus medialis, which is the most medial of the different quadricep muscles, what we would want to do is place the ankles outside of the knees. By placing the ankles outside of the knees, what happens is we are going to create greater myofascial tension on the medial aspect of the femur, and that is going to elicit a greater response from the vastus medialis. From this position right over here, Cassandra's gonna go into retroversion of the pelvis. She's, so that's gonna be a posterior pelvic tilt. She's gonna tuck her butt underneath her. And then at the chin, you're, yeah, you're just gonna stay nice and tall, tuck your butt underneath you, perfect. Then she's gonna keep her chin tucked in and the crown of her head, she's going to push it up toward the sky. This is going to be the setup position for the segmental strengthening and reinforcement of the vastus medialis, specifically the proximal fibers of the vastus medialis. So again, ankles are gonna be just outside of the knee. And from this position over here, you could either keep your hands down by your side, you could cross them at your shoulder, you could place them overhead. The lower your hands, the lower your center of gravity, the easier it's gonna be. The higher your hands, the higher your center of gravity, the more difficult it's gonna be. But this is essentially the exercise. All you're gonna do is hinge back from your knees while maintaining a nice neutral spine from your ears all the way down to your toes. And I'm just gonna have Cassandra do a few repetitions. When you are performing this exercise, you wanna be able to go as far back as you can. The end goal should be able to reach the floor, but if you're unable to reach the floor, play with the range of motion that you have available to you. Go as low as you can without losing the retroversion of the pelvis. Another thing worth noting with regard to the execution of this exercise is with your eyes, you wanna be looking down between your thighs or down to the floor in front of you. By looking down to the floor, you're gonna be able to put the dura mater under greater tension. And this is pretty much it for the segmental strengthening and reinforcement exercise for the proximal fibers of the vastus medialis. Next, we are going to do the segmental strengthening and reinforcement exercise for the proximal fibers of the vastus intermedius. Because the vastus intermedius is straight down the middle of the quadriceps, what we're gonna do for this one over here, we are going to place the ankles in line with the knees. By placing the ankles in line with the knees, this is gonna allow for a greater recruitment of the vastus intermedius muscle. Everything else is going to be exactly the same. We're gonna have retroversion of the pelvis. Cassandra's gonna keep her chin tucked in. She's gonna push her crown up toward the ceiling. And with her eyes, she's gonna look down toward the floor to put the dura mater under tension. The execution is exactly the same. She is going to hinge back at the knees and she's gonna go as far back as she can. Generally, when it comes to the different quadricep exercises in this position, this is going to be a lot easier than the vastus medialis exercise because a lot of people, they have a really, really weak vastus medialis. So this one is going to be a lot easier. And the next one is going to be for the vastus lateralis. For the vastus lateralis, the one change that we want to make is Cassandra's going to place her ankles inside of her knees. By placing the ankles inside the knees, what happens is we're going to create greater myofascial tension on the lateral aspect of the femur, which is going to allow for greater recruitment of the vastus lateralis. Everything else exactly the same. Cassandra's going to have her pelvis in retroversion, so she's going to tuck it underneath her. Her 
Chin is going to be tucked in. The crown of the head is pushing up to the sky. With her eyes, she's looking down to the floor to activate the dura matter and put it under tension. And she's going to do the exact same thing. She's going to hinge backward at the knees while maintaining the retroversion of the pelvis, keeping the chin tucked in and looking down between the thighs. And this is the segmental strengthening and reinforcement exercise for the proximal fibers of the vastus lateralis. Now, the reason that these exercises are focusing specifically on the proximal fibers, so I'm going to allow Cassandra to just have a little bit of a break and rest right now. When she is on her knees right now, we are fixing the distal end of the quadricep group. So because the distal end is fixed, that's why this exercise is specifically targeting the proximal fibers. And with regard to the actual sets and repetitions for these exercises, if we are doing them for the purposes of either rehabilitation, eliciting some type of postural change, or just strengthening a muscle that is underdeveloped, we would want to accumulate enough time under tension to be able to elicit that type of change. And in order to do that, we need to create a lot of time under tension. So three sets of 50 repetitions is what would be recommended. That is five zero, not one five. Again, we are trying to elicit a postural change or trying to strengthen an underactivated muscle. So if you're doing the typical bodybuilding 8 to 12 repetitions, that's not going to be enough time under tension to elicit that response. So three sets of 50 repetitions, that is what you want to do for each of these exercises. Try them each, see which one you're weakest at. Whichever one you find that you are weakest, that is the one that you need the most. But that is it for the segmental strengthening and reinforcement exercise for the quadricep group. And that is pretty much it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button so I know to make more of these types of videos in the future. And if you're either new to the channel or haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell as I will be uploading new videos every single day. That's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you again tomorrow.